Jolie Bindo was one of the most famous balanced force users in Star Wars Legends. I would say Grey Jedi, but apparently Lucasfilm doesn't like that term. All I mean is that Jolie followed neither the teachings of the Jedi nor the Sith and seemed to accept all aspects of the Force. Even as a Padawan, Jolie was considered to be reckless, often defying the will of the Jedi Council, instead following his own intuition. For example, when the people of the Ukatis system were blockaded and the Senate refused to send help, Bindo took it upon himself to acquire a ship, steal supplies, and run through the blockade to provide relief to the planet. His ship was shot down by a woman named Nyama who was following the orders of the tyrannical king of Eukatis, who had blockaded the system in the first place. She captured Jolie, but he actually wound up charming her, and they were married, again in defiance of the Jedi Code. Nyama was also strong in the Force, and even though he was still only a Padawan, Jolie took it upon himself to train her, also against the wishes of the Council. During the Great Sith War with the Dark Lord of the Sith, Exar Kun, Nyama fell to the dark side. When Jolie refused to follow her, she attacked him and was defeated. But he couldn't kill his own wife and allowed her to go free. This led to the deaths of many Jedi at her hands before she was finally killed in battle. Instead of punishing Bindo for his many infractions, the Jedi Council offered him a promotion to Jedi Knight. Losing his faith in the wisdom of the Council, he left the Order and exiled himself on Kashyyyk. There he remained through the Mandalorian Wars and much of the Jedi Civil War until he was approached by the reformed Darth Revan. He joined the crew of the Ebon Hawk in their fight against Darth Malak and participated in the destruction of the Starforge, marking the end of the Jedi Civil War. Jolie's story is interesting to explore right now because of his more balanced view of the Force. He wasn't perfectly balanced in the Game Knights of the Old Republic, still leaning slightly towards the light side, but he wasn't as fervently light side as most of the Jedi Order. The new Star Wars canon has been bringing up the idea of balance in the Force very frequently with characters like Ahsoka and the Bindu. Although Jolie Bindo is no longer canon, I believe we're going to be seeing many of his ideals play a large part in the future of Star Wars. That's it for today. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook, and consider checking out my Patreon page. As always, thanks for watching, and may the Force be with you.